Welcome back, generals. My name is Tokariva. This is some more Hearts of Iron 4 playing as the United States of America. We are now at war fully, and Europe and Africa are a mess. And Japan just sunk half. Well, almost all my battleships. Which is just annoying. Um, our battle cruisers, you're actually going to go to the. Pacific Fleet as well. Currently have 15 of them on there. Wow, okay. 151 military factories now as well, by the way. We're getting there for sure. Atomic research has finished, which means we get speed up research. Still, nuclear reactor soon-ish. Um, let's see, it's 1941. We are already doing weapons level 3. Or 24 days now. Need to upgrade my, upgrade my support battalion soon as well. That's not important right now. That is going perfectly fine. We should do these though. Yeah. Um, ships is 44 for the la last level. Midway though, 198 days. That would be ridiculous. Um, ah, yes. Destroyers. Um, 164 days. Okay, I'm just, just going through the list. The Mustang, 198 days. is not bad. Doctrine. Naval mission efficiency. I think... Let's actually look. What is their mission? That's the naval bombers here. I need to select these guys. You're... Apparently just standing by, but... Hmm. 42 doesn't give a lot of new research, researches, which is fun. You know, I really should have gotten the construction. Just so I can get the four level four, and that is speed up stuff as well. Tactical bomber. Oh no, our close air support is already here. I'm sending you to France on close air support missions during the day. Our tactical bombers will do it during the night. Oh, this is not good. They're being pushed back by the Germans and hard. Uh, you're already here. Um, naval strike. The Hawaii Ridge. Okay, so Micronesia. There's still an invasion coming for Wake, but... Interesting choice, by the way. It does take some time, probably, to get that set up. We're also going to northern France. You're going to do close air support at night. And, um... Don't do too many operations, just be safe. Oh! It's a lot better, so they are actually active. Wow. This is very surprising how much that is being done. Anyway, I am going to... Well, no, they're not done training yet. I need more Marines. Also, while we're doing things, I'm going to put you in exercise. So I make you a little bit stronger. Um, support weapons level 3. Good. This is about to get active as well. It'd be nice to have maybe well first I'm gonna get better paratroopers. But I also really need to work on my support battalions, and that's the rest of the year, probably. It's gonna cost me a lot of research points. And then add them as well. Hey look, we have room for another support division on our National Guard units, probably. They currently have a combat width of 29. Now I know that the optimal combat width is 20 for a unit. But every fight has a combat width of 80. 
and plus 20 for every flank you have. So if we see, there it says here, for example, if a combat has total width, um, combat has total width of 80, you can fit four divisions with width of 20. Now what I want to do is make th my main divisions, or the National Guard units, about 40 width. Costs a lot of stuff and everything, but... Okay, Signal Company is probably very important here. I'm gonna add one of you to them. We are currently missing tactical bombers. The thing is, they are a little bit behind on... I'm, I'll just queue them up. But they're probably not going to be used anytime soon. Also, we just... Did we just upgrade artillery or is... No, that's not yet there. We upgraded something... No, we got support weapons level 2. But this time I need to be on the ball and actually switching what we're doing. Naval combat? Really? Oh, probably our subs again. Yeah. Our subs are doing a great job. Okay, that is bad. Get out, get out, get out. I think this is their main fleet right now. Or at least the one that's all the way out here in Eastern Micronesia. Wait, what, what, what? Oh. Oh, we were part of a... F wow. The Brits are actually doing pretty decent in Spain. That is also quite surprising. But yeah, I'm still training the troops. But the Air Force can be over there. They're being quite useful. Total need 5,000. Where did that suddenly come from? Oh, and it's filled. Regardless, though, advanced artillery. So the first thing I'm going to do is swap over improved artillery to advanced artillery. It does need to uh, get its efficiency back, but... Um, actually, those fighters... Put these guys. Oh, so we have researched advanced artillery. There's still, of course, improved anti air upgrades and anti tank upgrades. They're quite fast to get, though. That's fine. You know, mm, I want to get that. I really do. But I also want to get towards the Mitchell and the Dragon, second Dragon, I guess. So this is 280 days, which is like the better part of the year. I think I'm going to forego my tactical bombers completely. I will get the liberators then. But yeah, um... What I'm going to do is get our tactical bombers. I send over here. I'm just going to remove that air wing. I know I have available planes of reserve. Quite a few, but... And finally, I will also just remove the interwar bomber here. Go away. What reinforcement do we need them on? Hey, please tell me that. Because I believe it just... No, okay. It was just... West Emperor Chain. They have found me again. Just kill some of those destroyers. Now you should get out there, out of there again. Hmm, interesting. They're hunting for me, obviously. <laughs> so those are the B-18 bolos, yeah. Thunderbolts. Those are my heavy fighters, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. 
maybe get this is a good question can i set up an air wing overseas i actually can create a new air wing i want an air wing of thunderbolts um just 100 for now i'll set your limit to a thousand as well though but just deploy a hundred for the time oh hello Aluminum! What a surprise! Yeah, I should just tra change my trade lock completely to... Um, I want to keep my shit. I mean, I still have to import the rubber, but still. Did we... I just have this weird feeling... That, that the Luftwaffe is already completely gone. Wow, they have between 300 and 500 aircraft in total. At least even less. Um, Great Britain has six and a half thousand. Yeah, I think we're pretty much fine on the um, Bismarck Sea. Oh, they found me again. But yeah. It is quite apparent that we have won the air war. For sure. So you don't actually have to... Um, fighter in southern England, they are not necessary at all. This is good to the Benelux region then. There are no aircraft facing us anymore. Jesus. Yeah, there's definitely an issue with how strong the uh, Royal Air Force is at the start of the game. It's really hard for the... Ooh, heavy fighters. Nice. Um, what's in Germany? Go ahead, have some fun over here. Um, air superiority. Why not? There we go. This is going to give us um, information, mostly. Because they don't have anything left, apparently, which is extremely weird. They are pushing back. Which is very nice. Australia controls this location, the Eritrea. The Iberian coast. Well, that has to be a British fleet, mostly. And some of my subs. Ooh. Will I get there first? Whatever it was, it seems to be gone now. They seem to have found me again. Thirty-one ships here now. But you are repairing. Okay, because when ships finish to repair, basically the repair uh, value is going to go to a different ship at that point. Okay, let's drop back down to 40. And... Wow, okay. I guess I'll just have to ask the Soviet Union now. We lost for so... Holy crap! We lost four submarines, but we sunk two of their battleships and a destroyer and a light cruiser. But what? The Yamashiro and the Fuso, the Nautilus, and. S-47, yeah. Bloody hell. Go subs. That's extremely good. Well, actually, let's look at the infantry division. So, they are currently have a comment width of 18. So, we do need to adapt it slightly. 
Um, I believe we have both of our field marshals have the offensive doctrine, which means your own combat width is down by 10%, which means that our infantry divisions can easily handle a 50, no, a, what am I saying, a 22 size combat width while our national garrisons national guards can become go up to 44 without an issue mm -hmm. we have some more paratroopers how many transports do we even have Mm. 60 more. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired again. Yeah, I'm always tired, really. That's my secret. Here, I have 200 of them. See how you'll handle that. Over a thousand fighters in reserve as well. Oh, is issue war bonds coming along slowly? It's almost still a month away. I get a lot more. Yeah, is that really worth it with that that little bit of aluminum that we're now importing? I don't know. Oh, naval combat in front of the African coast. Oh, they got away. Okay, let's look again at the map. So, Germany is slowly pushing into Sweden. Slowly. Still fighting the Dunkirk pockets. Still doing their best to contain us in Spain. Yugoslavia is slowly disappearing, though. But somehow Greece is held, which is impressive. Okay, what we're gonna have to prepare is a naval invasion. So we're gonna remove all your current orders. We're gonna have a naval invasion starting here. That will invade all the way over here next to the port. As soon as you just go on the port. And that's actually a good point. We can just go straight over there. There you go. How long would that take to plan? Uh, where does it say again? It's just their speed. Yeah, I don't want to make use of the beachheads of our allies, personally. Well, at some point we're probably going to have to. But it just feels more accomplished. Ooh. Sorry, it feels just a lot more accomplished if you're the one doing everything and you get to do the things. Are we still getting more? Oh, it's probably because we're replacing it. We're getting those Northrops. Again, oh, rubber. Okay, that is fine. Regardless, though, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.